Ginger Milan and Ginger Schoenenberger here with us from the Boone County Library. And I know you both are very active in, I guess, all of it, but you probably each have your specialty area that you want to cover today. And I know you said teen and children's, but why don't, who wants to start first? <laughs> They're looking at each other like, you go, no, you go, no, you. Let's no. start with the children's oh, part okay. of it. Oh, so there you go. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have the summer reading program, as you know, and we have that every year. And it's going very well. We have really high numbers of enrollment this year. And it's still not too late to join some of the activities that they have going on. Um, now, is, is this program just for the summer? Yes. Okay. okay. Yes, because it is called the Summer Reading Program. And it's just a period of, I think it's seven or eight weeks is all it is. Mm -hmm. And it runs during the time when the kids are out of school. Mm -hmm. And it uh, just encourages the children to stay active in their reading. Because as we know, the more that they do read over the summer, the more they will retain of what they've learned in, you know, in the mm -hmm. last from the school year. I, I know when I took off during the summer when I was a kid, mm -hmm. it took a while to get back yes, into it. it. I mean, you just, you're, I mean, I laid around all the summer, mm -hmm. didn't do anything, didn't mm -hmm. read, didn't do anything. Right. So I mean, that, right. that that's what this program helps. Very much so, yes. And not only that, but again, it it will give them some incentive because they do get to win some prizes. So right. hey, we all like prizes, right? Mm -hmm. You bet. I mean, I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and define children. As far as ages and, and who this Well, our summer reading program, actually, it's wonderful this year because it not only includes any of the kids that are, let's just say, one, mm -hmm. all the way up to adults, adults this oh, okay. year. Oh, mm okay. -hmm. So one anybody, everybody. Wow, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because those are what we call lap um, reading buddies. So the babies what? just have to see. Yeah, and it starts them out with that. Very yeah. much. You know, mm -hmm. I think that's correct. And, and, you can and bond. children, rea uh, babies react to someone reading. Very them, much they? so. Yeah. Yes, yes, very much so. It's it's known that um, they will grow up with um, as they go with a bigger vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Right. So, just yeah. by hearing the words. Yes, yeah. Absolutely. Great. And I, you would be surprised at how many babies that come into our library that are two and two and a half and three years old and already can pick out some words that they know. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amazing. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things that kids So our summer reading program, as I said, we've already started um, with that, but for July the 16th and the 17th, which are Tuesday and Wednesday, which we have throughout the year, it starts at 10 o'clock, and uh, the 16th and 17th we have We Dig Dinosaurs. And we're going to have a special appearance by the Peter Pan cast. Awesome. They're going to be coming. I'm sorry, I just dropped that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, so they're going to be coming and uh, doing some song and dance, I guess. I'm not really sure exactly they, what they're going to do. But last year, yeah. that's what we did. Uh -huh. They came and we had the Wizard of Oz last mm -hmm. year this year Peter Pan so they will be doing some of that and then the 23rd and 24th of July we have Home Depot coming and they're going to be teaching the kids um, some gardening tips good oh. deal planting planting vegetables Neat. and then the 30th and the 31st we're going to have explore the core and that's Blanchard Springs and they're going to be coming in and telling the kids about the environment of caves Oh, awesome. So that's really So do you all have a reading time and then you have the... This, program, is, the this is the program. This is the program. Yes, and most okay. of the time they normally read to mm -hmm. the kids mm -hmm. some type right. of a story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And so now the Blanchard Springs is only on the 30th, that okay. Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, Buffalo National River will be coming, and they're going to be talking about animals that burrow. Oh, I was fun. afraid to say that word. I was afraid I Burrow. would mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, animals that dig. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're going to be talking about that. So, again, because of our summer reading program theme, Dig Into Reading, yeah. all of this oh, gotcha. has to do with that. Mm -hmm. So, so yes, we're very cool excited. That, yeah. And then one more thing. Every Wednesday we have a movie, and it starts at 1 o'clock. And uh, the 10th, it's going to be Rise of the Guardians. And the 17th, it's The Secret World. And the 24th, Invasion of the Tiny Saurus. <laughs> Tiny Saurus. And the 31st, it's going to be Bill Nye on Caves. That's the science guy. Yes, that's yeah. the science guy, yes. Yeah. 
How yes. Cool. So we've had really good numbers with that. People are really showing up for that. And before we go to Ginger over here, I, I just want to uh, compliment you on your your emails that you send me. Your your She's, your yes. your uh, newsletter. Mm -hmm. It's the coolest thing. Now, can anyone get that? Yes. Yes. How can we? How can people at home? Because those, that is really fascinating to just sit there and read through all the stuff that's going on, and it's a colorful newsletter, and and it's I, I guess it's a PDF file maybe or it, it, yeah. It's a yeah. Microsoft Publisher. I, I fell into that doing the newsletter. Yeah, when I you, had I, it's not no you've not been doing what, it very long. So. What I was doing when I yeah. started, and I'm still it learning. Cool. I like but, it. But uh, we do a paper issue that's always sitting on the counter, and when we have people sign up for library right. cards, we give them one. But the uh, the one in the email is really good because, like you said, it's mm -hmm. it's full color, and you can call the library um, and request it in an email. Mm -hmm. But on the back of the paper one, there's a little form to fill out, okay. uh, so that you can get it in an email. Okay. Right now, we have over 200 people who who get it. Oh, that's good. In that format. Can you format. also go to the website? You can go. There? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, you can. Okay. You certainly can. Uh, or you can call me because I'm the one that puts your name in the list. Okay. And um, uh, anyway, it's one of several things. And I am talking about the teen program, but I don't do the teen program. Uh, Sandy Williams is in charge of yeah. that, and she does a fantastic job. And um, she has she has two and three events scheduled each week for the teens and next week is Hobbit week. Hobbit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the theme for the teen reading program is Beneath the Surface and uh, on Tuesday, and I'm going to have to look at my notes here, Tuesday the 9th uh, they're actually going to show the movie upstairs and while you're watching the movie she's going to do a drawing workshop. Uh, she is our resident artist and extremely talented and then on Friday, uh, Sandy's hosting a Hobbit party, and you have to register for that. And it'll be after hours. Uh, it starts at 4 and runs mm -hmm. until 8 p.m. And uh, Nothing like a good Hobbit party. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's she's going to have uh, each teenager who participates with a name tag, and I said I wasn't going to say this. But, <laughs> but she's going to. The name tag will be made in Dwarfish Ruins, R-U-N-E-S. So it's some kind of special lettering. Oh, okay. Uh, there will be crafts, snacks, games, prizes, mm -hmm. trivia, and a scavenger hunt, which I think in a library would be so much no fun. No doubt. And the really fun part of it, you can come dressed as your favorite character mm -hmm. from any of the token classic fantasy mm -hmm. stories. Mm -hmm. Or you can just come as a Hobbit fan. But uh, she's had a great turnout for her programs this summer, and uh, this will obviously be very popular. Is there a cost for that party? No. Okay. Oh, no. We're the library. Nothing. Oh, okay. Everything's free. Right. Well, the creativity flows yeah. amongst you yeah, It does. All, so. it does. Right. Uh, but that's not the only thing she's doing. Also next week, uh, Ann Graffy is going mm -hmm. to come and do a clay workshop. Awesome. Part one, and then part two will be the following week, um, July 16th. She has Mary Palmer Scott coming, and sh this lady uh, will bring her spinning wheel and show how you make thread from wool. Wow. And um, Thursday the 18th, um, if you sign up, you can come and do yoga with Paulette Jack. And there are a lot of things that are going on, so it's really good to check our website yeah. so you can get the dates and the times and mm -hmm. the place. And uh, that's really easy. It's just BooneCountyLibrary.org. Mm -hmm. And so then, everything's on the website. But yes. If, but if I, I really encourage people to get the newsletter yes. because it, it, it's it's a it thing. It's automatically sent to you. Uh huh. And it puts that reminder. <laughs> Uh, in front of you right. every, every, uh, how often do you do it? Once a month? Once a month. Yeah, uh -huh. once a month. That's Can you cool. also get it sent to you to now, May? Mail, mail, no, or we don't. Just on the website. Just on the website. Okay. That or you costs can, money. We can't do that. You can <laughs> pick up the paper copy at, <laughs> okay. the, at the library. Okay. Yeah. But those are the teen activities, and as Ginger explained about the children's activities, um, it is so much fun to watch all these kids coming into the library. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and, I bet. Uh, there's a lot yeah. of interest. And I do adult programs, so I have to throw in a plug for, okay. for that. Um, 
this is the first year that the adults have participated in the summer reading program. We've always done it in the winter, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we had 25, 30 people sign up. Well, this year we had 95 adults. Oh, my Lord, goodness. And wow. I have to credit the children's librarians and the circulation staff uh, because they encourage people to sign up. And we really like it because we feel like uh, parents and grandparents are setting a good example. You and bet. we do have one program uh, planned. Uh, Home Depot is coming and um, on July 25th, and they're going to make some really cool planters. Uh, and they're going to use cement and rock, some kind of aggregate. Mm -hmm. And so it's just going to be inside the library when yes. you do all this? Okay. Yes. And uh, some lucky person who's in the audience will win one of those plans. Oh, that cool. Night. So. Now, you've mentioned all this, and, and maybe someone is, you know, it's middle of, or it's the beginning of July. Is it ever too late to come and join in no. to any of the programs? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There are a few where you have to register, uh, like the Hobbit Party. Right. Uh, but most everything, you can just come in and okay. ask. And Neat. Yeah. Enjoy. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you're going to have... Lots going on. This is the summer programs, and then I'm sure when school starts, you'll have you'll just a continual uh, <laughs> programs that you're going to have throughout the year. Yes. And we'll have you back to talk about okay. more of those oh, We have later some on. really cool things coming up in the fall. And thanks again for that newsletter. It's, it's such welcome. a great thing to get that, and, and that's... That's why I wanted you. I, it piqued my interest. Uh -huh. I got to get them in here to well, thank talk you. about that. Yeah. So, thank you. doing a good job on that. Thank you so much thank for being thanks. here. Thanks. And we'll have you again later on in the season. Uh, okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. All right. We're going to shift gears, uh, take a middle of the show break. And when we come back, we'll be talking with Madeline Middleton about a Veterans Day show that's coming up on Veterans Day inside the Lyric. And we're all excited about what new things she's going to be bringing to this program. And we'll be talking with her in just a couple of minutes. Stay with us.